We're broadcasting straight to your screen from Arrow in Your Head Stadium in the appropriately named Carcass City, Misery. It's always festive during NFL season. They bring in all the carcasses and dress them up in Crokeland jerseys. But the smell, oh, oh Lord have mercy. Oh, the smell. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Mile High Chronic take on the Carcass City Creeps. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called a lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. I do. I revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he bricks wonder what made him so mad that was probably all the diarrhea no you're probably right yeah they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to mexico forever to crack their pants ah, sounds like he didn't really think it through because you know he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives but yeah, not the guests what the fuck are you talking about i don't really know right now what the and it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. He's rumbling and stumbling. Oh man, talk about running into a buzzsaw, Bricks. Okay, he just ran into a buzzsaw. First and ten. You ever get hit in the head with a boat off? Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. First down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. It's a glitterception. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The defense uses a time warp dirty trick to erase that last play. I think all those team physicists really paid off. And you said they were crazy. One, hot two, hot three. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that. Oh, what a brutal hit! And it's first and ten. 
Yeah. The defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life or die. <laughs> You want to do this a bit of your time! Second down and more than the QB would like. Full man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor, my bro. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays! Talk about luck! Just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. About a three yard pickup. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He just let that one drop and played safe, and the defense says, We'll take it. And it's first and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Hot one. And, a, and that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Lucky find his head. He'll be okay. And it's first and ten. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. I'm pretty sure my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. Third and four. I'm surprised no one uses the ultra. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pickup. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. And it's first and ten. to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, man. <laughs> Second down and long. the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. And 
and that's just a great run for a touchdown. Is that right, Quinn? That penalty makes no sense. Hey, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. <laughs> And this is a first and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> first down and forever. Gives up five yards there. Second down in a mile. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah. Ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Points and let's move on. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one time thing. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hey. It's two yard run before he stopped. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. crashing into a slump. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but uh, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Hot two. Hot. 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 He broke free and has open field in front of him. First down. He was not going to. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I had to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. First down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. And he rumbles into the end zone for the score. I hope he's not going to dance now. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Hey. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, and he just 
just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. Second down and two. And they just popped his eyes in the back of his head. That quarterback can be hurting or dead. <laughs> Third down and six. Hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. <laughs> The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense! Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's bad. First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. And that'll be second down and four. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Oh, man. The offense called him. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the NFL. And it's first and ten. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completions. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust.
The quarterback didn't like that last play, so he decided to undo it with a time warp dirty trick. I don't trust quarterbacks with that kind of power. First it's plays, what's next? Grab a ref, then take your money back. Stay the model, then take your money back. It's a slippery slope, Grim. <laughs> Crusher right there, folks. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. Interceptions, but when I do, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Grim. And it's first and ten. I, I and the defense called a strawberry field's dirty trick. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Don't you just love the sound of the bones snapping and cracking? I mean, with Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome! I hope they have raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Crushed. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And the ground game is starting to soften up the defense. First down. First and ten. I, I won. I do. I, they called a warp speed dirty trick. He's so fast he watches 60 minutes and 60 seconds. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. Second down and a lot. I, I won. I do. I, I, oh, he's going berserk. The ball carrier gets another pick. Man, oh, man. Just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room straight through the uprights the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself i'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring When 
in a hurry up offense the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock oh man he ran that run is good for nine yards <laughs> And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. He hit that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just guineas. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, with the brutal hit. <laughs> and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. <laughs> <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kick off into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! Second down and more than the QB would like. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And the QB might as well just bury himself. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just 
I say greatest hits? Where? just called a time warp dirty trick and now it's like everything that just happened didn't get brick's mom on the phone quick i want to use 13,000 of those time warps and i'm doing mistakes she did about 35 and the ball razors through the defense cutting a defender oh great catch and that's a touchdown touchdown Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. He's not going down. And he picks up maybe four. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. Second down and six. It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and 10. And another interception. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. <laughs> And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And it's first and ten. Hot. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot, hot one, eight. Six-yard gain there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. Third and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. The quarterback had no time to throw, and the defense gets a big sack. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. 
And he put all of his foot into that one. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. And he, and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Boom, and he's dead. Wow, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. Oh, uh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> that's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. <laughs> the carcass city creeps pulverize the opposition into a bloody mess. They win this one by forfeit. Ah, oh, they murderized him, Grim. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.